Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our continue by Let's Play Ace Attorney Apollo Justice for the PS5. My name is Flatless Bird, this is your Sorbius Gamer Channel, and today, well, today we're finally going to talk to Maki with the help of Lamoroar, and we're going to try to get to the bottom of what the heck is going on in this case after Lamoroar was just the victim of an attack herself. Well, let's not waste any time. A lot to do today, including probably getting into the trial. So let's do this. I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. Maki, we came to talk to you about the case. Maki. All the dots. Could you interpret for us, Slimmerware? Yes. Maki, I'd like to talk to you about when we first met. When we still thought you were blind. Now we know the truth. You can see, right? I was completely fooled myself. The magician getting fooled. They're, they're, I'm pretty sure there's something to be said about that. Maki. Is it there another secret you're hiding from us? Wait, Mr. Attorney. What do you mean by secret? What do I mean by secret? Well, you can speak English. What do I... Or may I have something to do with the cocoon? If I'm not mistaken, you know something about this, don't you? Yep, that's what it was. Ooh. Ooh, look at that look. Hey, you got a reaction. A big one. Maki, you did it. Tristan and I are trained to see people's uncertainty. Not that we would have needed any training to see that one. Mr. Attorney, please tell me what this is all about. Lamar, please, just interpret. Very well. I know you know something about this by your reaction. If you won't tell me, I might have to give it to the prosecution. And have them look into it. Just all these symbols is what's going on here. He asked you to... Wait, do not be so hasty. Mamaki? Do you know everything? Yes, everything. Well, sort of. Have him tell us about it. Very well. The cocoon. What is this cocoon? What is this cocoon, anyway? The cocoon, the silk, is a potent cure. A cure? It must cure some disease. It's a cure for incuritis. Incuritis as an uncurable? What? A cure for incuritis? A replica of a cocoon from which a remedy for incuritis may be extracted. But if it's a cure, why keep it in Virginia like that? Just think of all the lives they could save by sharing the medicine. I do not understand the reasons myself. Okay, well, at least we know what it is. A cure. And Mr. Latus was after cocoon smugglers. Wait, was Maki? Maki, you what? He couldn't be a smuggler. He's so little. Well, you're only 15 and you're a sort of magician, aren't you? <laughs> I talked about this uh, uh, the other day uh, about how it's kind of weird that a 15 year old is with us on crime scenes. And then someone mentioned, well, you know, Pearl was with us and she's even younger. So yeah, age really doesn't have um, a play in a person's ability in this world. Well, that's true. I am sort of a magician. She said, sort of. Oh, to have a copy of that security camera tape. <laughs> well, Maki, are you a smuggler? It's a lot of, uh, Virginian symbols. He won't tell me. 
First he plays blind, and now he plays dumb. I wonder. Do you think he uh, bought a cocoon here to sell it to someone? If market really did bring one into the country, was he planning on making a deal for its sale? I can't go home. Can't go home? I can't go home to Virginia. I do not want to go home. The penalty for taking a cocoon for Virginia is death. That's right, it's punishable by death. About the case? What about the case? Who wants to tell us about Mr. Latusa's death? Uh, this means over. Okay, who said that? Oh, hey, Darian. Darian? But wait, I thought he was suspended. Uh, what do you mean, Vizzy? I was not over, even over yet. Besides, aren't you suspended? Well, there's a call for Maki from the Virginian Embassy. Well, this meeting is over. Sorry. Just give us five more minutes. We can call them back after that. Sorry, that's a no-go. Come on, piano boy. We're leaving. Darian, wait. I never liked you. Either of you. Wow, that's harsh. Huh? What did we ever do to you? Darn it, we were so close. He was about to tell us. Hey, Apollo? He didn't want us to hear what Maki had to say. Apollo? And there can only be one reason why. Why is everyone ignoring me? Oh, uh, uh, sorry. This is it. I know who I'm after now. It all happens tomorrow in court. And again, I hate it when things do this, where they're like, yes, we know what the answer is. And just like, no, I don't know what the answer is. Why did you just tell me? Well, why do you have this rigmarole dance around? I don't even know what a rigmarole is. It just sounds like a word that should work for this. Ah. <sighs> July 10th, 949 AM, District Court Defendant Lobby Number 2. Well, this is it. Today is the day it all goes down, so who the heck could it be? I mean, it's gotta be, I mean, the, the only one that they could be defending is Lamoror, right? So did she, uh, fake the attack? Uh, I don't know. And then there was yesterday. The mini is over, sorry. I'm just gonna give you another flashback from like 30 seconds ago. But you know, you're supposed to take a break in between episodes, so it's your fault that you see this flashback like immediately after. If only you played like 10 more minutes the other day, you would have had this flashback and wouldn't have been no big deal. So yeah. <laughs> and I think I know why. Time to bring down a little justice. What? Wait, what? Eek, what was that? That was a gunshot. He is heard but unseen? What was this? Who's that talking? Valent Grammarie? I exclaimed as he walked in through the door. Normally, wait, was that, that not a gunshot? That was just someone banging a door? Like, that sounded like a gunshot. You aren't the witness today, are you, Uncle Valent? Ha 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 ha! Hey, preposterous proposition! How could I stand to stand upon the sand? <laughs> I'm still a little bit confused by that noise, but I love that line. Why, my secrets would be free for the bucking! I might even have to sign autographs! That is why I tend to remain hidden for the entire day. Oh, vanishing magic? Indeed, I will jump upon an express train and express myself to the next time over. But before I go, a word of warning. Warning? What? A grand grimory clamor resides at the root of all that has happened. Do not forget this truth. Uh, glamour? A spell, a sorcery, a great illusion. Miss Trissy, though it pains me to part so, I need to get in line for a ticket. Huzzah! Farewell! Pshoo! I don't know what a pshoo is. I just imagine him like zooming on. 
and we had this weird gunshot sound and I guess it was just him like maybe uh using like smoke pattern going BAM and like appearing on the scene but still that scared the heck out of me and there he goes he sure seemed happy about this illusion thing oh big illusions are the bread and butter of a magician you can't pull off a show without one the big illusion is always a spectacle to remember Usually it involves cutting up things like people or elephants or the Eiffel Tower, anything really. Wait, cut up the Eiffel Tower? Wait, wait, what? So he was talking about what, he, what we saw at the concert. Lamor's disappearing act. And plus to Gavin's exploding guitar. I wonder what he meant by it being at the root of all that has happened. Well, it's about time. Shall we go? I still don't have any guesses about who did this. Like... I, I'm I'm serious. The the victim, uh, the victim pool. The 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 uh, the the the. Jeez, what's the, 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 the word I'm looking for? The accused pool. I I don't know. The felon, whatever. Uh, I mean, he's dead, so he's out of it. It's probably not gonna be any of these three. And if it is, I I may lose myself, especially on the third case. Um, Lamor. Like I said, she might have faked it all. It's possible. Uh, Maki, he might be guilty for something that's not related to the case. Uh, what do I mean by that? I mean that he may be uh, a smuggler, but he may not be the killer. Uh, Ima, if she did it, I, I again may lose craziness or saneness or whatever. Uh, Darian could do it. Even though he's a guitarist for the Gaviners, that makes him less likely to be the culprit because he's close with Clavier. It, it, he's not out of the woods. And then you got Valet Grammarie, who I'm starting to think didn't do it. I'm starting to believe that he was responsible for the magic trick, obviously, but he, he's a red herring, even though he's in yellow costume. I don't think he did. I think it's either down between Darian and Lamor. And I think what might have happened. See, the problem is Darian was on the stage, right? I mean, yeah, he messed up on his guitar or whatever, but he was on the stage. So... If he was on the stage... It's less likely that he did it. Which means Lamor is my prime suspect. Ah, this is... Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, yes? Well, the scheduled story time of the trail has been changed. The trial will not be commenced until 10.30 a.m. Sorry about the inconvenience. So, uh, you know, there's a McDonald's next door. Go get some, uh, uh, Egg McBuffet or something. Huh? Did something happen? This is a first? Yeah, this is a first. Oh, it's by the judge's request. Some urgent personal business. Great. I bet he stayed up too late last night watching courtroom dramas. Apparently, he's visiting the hospital again. Oh, that's right. We, we remember that. The hospital? I believe it was mentioned that the chief justice's son is unwell. Yeah, I remember that. Apparently, his condition was to consider this morning. The chief justice's son. Oh, that's right. Remember yesterday morning? The judge said he had to go visit him at the trial. Yeah, I do remember, but you know, you could always show me a flashback, just in case I forgot. There's an article about it in the newspaper. You can't read about it yourself. Newspaper article added to the court writer. Oh, incuritis syndrome. First case in country. Oh. So, Chief Justice Sun has incuritis. Disease strikes closer to home than ever before. Where have I heard that? Oh, come on, Apollo. You know exactly where you've heard that before. I'll let you read that article for us, Apollo. Just leave the TV guy page to me. Ah, try not to lose a page with the funnies if you can. <laughs> Alright, it's 10.30 a.m. Let's do it. <laughs> My apologies for the delay. Court is now in session for the trail of, uh... Um, how do you say his name again? Make Tobaye, a suspect fortissimo. 
Wait, that's it. Is this trail in any case? The defense is prepared, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready to walk. Hmm. Is something wrong, Your Honor? Well, no. Well, yes. Since I've been friends with the Chief Justice ever since we were students, it pains me to see him going through such a difficult time. Incuritus, was it? That article said there was no known cure. Well, we know the cure. Is there anything else in the article except that? No. Okay. Hey, Judge, let me say, with all honesty, I feel your pain. But now is not the time for tears. Now is the time for law. Indeed. We let off at quite the juncture yesterday. I asked Interpol about the number. I, PXX3142006. The agent registered under this number was Romain Latus. Well, thanks for looking into that for us, Detective Crescent. It's a great help. Oh, no problem at all, Your Honor. I'll be heading out. Wait! That voice just now... It was him. I am sure of it. It was him? That voice I heard talking to Mr. Latus when I heard the gunshots fired. It was him. It was Mr. Darian. <laughs> no way. Okay, that's a good flashback. I mean, that was a while ago. That, that was a good flashback. Quite a sensational ending. Now I got the hiccups. I don't want to get the hiccups when you're talking. It just, it just makes, ah. Okay. Okay, deep breath, deep breath, let's go. Who would have thought Darian would guest star in the season cliffhanger as a suspect? Why well, is the prosecution to look into this matter? Please tell the court your findings. Darian Crescent is a member of my bond, the governors. He is also a detective, marking the current kind of charge as serious indeed. Yet after investigation, I have found no cause to alter our case or file new charges. Any reason is? Learn to aver our uh, hair for head. He has an impeccable alibi. An uh, alibi? Yeah, he was on the stage. Let us review the fox again, shall we? The concert held on the night of the shooting was in three sets. The governors looked at the stage during the first set. For the second set, our guests took the center stage. The only performers appearing were myself, Lamavor, and... Um, I stopped skipping text. God, I hate it when games do that. That just drives me crazy. Stop it. And the worst worst is it does it randomly. So sometimes it doesn't do it and sometimes it does. Thankfully, this one has a history, though. The only performers appearing were myself, Lamavor, and Maki. Along with the drummer and bassist for a total of five. The shooting in the dressing room, however, took place during the third set. Lamavor and the defendant, Maki Tobaye, had left the stage at that point. And the governors were already walking. This is when two shots rang out at the scene of the crime. Shots heard by Detective E. Maskai, mind you. And Apollo? You heard them too, right? I sure did. Furthermore, Lemavor herself witnessed the moment of the crime. Well, perhaps I should say, she heard the moment of the crime. Then she claims to have heard Mr. Latus and Detective Kless and talking. But, but that's impossible. Detective Kless was, uh, 
Precisely. Detective Klassen was on the stage, getting his groove on, no less. Viola. A perfect alibi. Okay, so there's one way that this could not be true. And that is the time of the murder is somehow wrong. However, we heard the gunshots. What if the gunshots were recorded? And then we heard them on a recording. What if, what if Lamar was murdered in, no, not, not Lamar, um, Latouse. What if, <laughs> what if Latouse was murdered during the second stage? But then, Lamar said she saw, saw things happen, but then again, if she's blind, maybe she just heard the recording like we heard the recording. I don't know. I don't know that. Oh, this, this is tricky. Hmm. Does the vents have anything to add to this? Yes. Uh, he's wrong, I think. It's true. When I heard those gunshots, he must have been on stage. Still, there's something here that doesn't quite add up. It appears the defense has no objections. I believe we can safely say that Darian Chris's alibi has been acknowledged. Which means that Lamavor was sadly mistaken. Her testimony could not be true. Very well. Of course, if we disregard her testimony. Well, then I see no evidence keeping us from declaring a verdict. If indeed there are no objections. Yes, I object to this. This is very damaging to my case. It's like that liar, liar line. <laughs> I love that. Uh oh, Apollo? If he declares a verdict now? Ack, but Prosecutor Gavin's case is airtight. Lemore might have been lying to protect Maki. How can I rely on her testimony? Wait, what about yesterday in the detention center? About the case, what about it, yeah. He wants to tell us about Miss Latus' death. And then we get interrupted by Darian, who basically says, uh, go buzz off. Maki was trying to tell us something, I know it. Maybe the best thing to do is ask him, under oath. Yeah, call him as a witness. Well, very well, the court finds Venny, oh, what was his name again? Objection! Exactly, his name is Objection. I mean, we object. Your Honor. No, that wasn't it. Someone like Marquis or, uh, uh huh? Mr. Justice? Your Honor, before you declare a verdict, I would like to call another witness. Exactly, who else do you need to have from? Um, a witness who until now has not been given the chance to speak in this court, and he really should, considering he's about to be pronounced guilty. Because he doesn't speak English. You don't mean... I do. The defense calls defendant Maki Tobei to the stand. What? He doesn't speak English. We'll use an interpreter. Interpreter. I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere. I only speak a few phrases, such as I love you and bar is the toilet. <laughs> oh, that's great. The defense would like to request Lamor as an interpreter. Uh, the Lamor? But there's a possibility she's protecting the defendant. But she'd be interpreting for the defendant. But why would she lie? Well, this is the most unusual. Ha ha ha. Bravo, hair for head. Hair judge, the prosecution agrees with the defense's request. If Lamavo lies, I'll be able to tell. Even my limited knowledge of the language should be enough for that. Well, if both prosecution defense are for this, well, I see the cause for refusal. Finally, some progress. Bailiff, please show the defendant and Lamavo to the witness stand. I suppose it was the first time for everything. Shall we proceed? Your name to begin with, if you would, Lamavor. Yes. He says, Make Tobai, 
the defendant. Hmm, no, this is certainly a first in this courtroom. But then again, we did have that one time where we interrogated a parrot. Yeah, that actually happened, didn't it? Well, I guess it's just common in our place. Anyway, now that we really need an interpretation of that message in particular. So far, so good. Very well, Mr. Justice, if you would. Huh? If I would what, Your Honor? Would what? Call the defendant to stand, did you not? Uh, what would you have him testify about? What do I want him to testify about? Ack! I hadn't thought that far you had yet. Apollo? Aren't you going to ask him what he was about to tell us yesterday? How can I if I don't know what we were saying? Excuse me a moment. Might I if I speak? I have no idea what that sentence was, but it still works. Yes, Lemur. Just now, Maki said that is something about which he wishes to testify. Maki wants to testify about something? I wonder what it could be. What sort of testimony is he talking about? One moment, please. Arg, this suspense is killing me! What? 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 Uh, well, Lemur. According to Maki, he has proof of his innocence. What? This is a surprise. Yahoo! Victory, Apollo? We did it! No, we haven't done anything yet. It's only like 10.30 or 10.35 in the morning. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more to go. This is sounding too good to believe, and I know what that usually means. It's not. Well, if that's true, then this is vital testimony, Lamor. I mean, a uh, Maki or whatever. Please testify to the court. Very well. Proof of innocence. He says that word of Mr. Lutus's death came as a great shock. But if the killing truly followed the lyrics of my song, I, that is he, could not have done it. He says that because the lyrics are in English, he does not understand them. Okay, I understand what you're saying, but that's ridiculous. I mean, the whole idea that the entire murder happened to, to the song is ridiculous on its own. And I'm pretty sure that's what the, uh, the prosecution is going to say. Hmm, I see. I see what? There's nothing to see here. Well, you wouldn't have understood the English lyrics to the song. Well, that would prevent him from following them so closely. I wondered what he meant by proof. Why, he would only have to ask Lamavar to know the meaning of that song. Lamavar, did you ever explain the lyrics of that song to him? I did tell him generally what the song was about, but never in so much detail, and he never asked. Has my oft repeated warning already fled that forehead? Lamavore might be protecting the witness. <sighs> well, anyway, let's proceed with the uh, cross examination. Mr. Justice, if you would. Yes, Your Honor. Something's hidden in that testimony, I know it. I'll just have to trust my bracelet to tell me where. It worked yesterday. It'll work today. Cross-examination, proof of innocence. He says that word of Miss Lutus's death came as a great shock. Were Maki and Miss Lutus close? Yes, after we traveled around the world on the tour together. Lamavor, this is Marky's cost examination, not yours. But I knew the answer. This is a court of law. We'll play by the book. I understand. When Prosecutor Gavin's tough, he's really tough.
Maki says he was very good friends with Mr. Latus. Mr. Latus was always a gentle man, never angry. We get along quite well. I never dreamed something like this would happen. But if the killing truly followed the lyrics of my song. The guitar is serenade, correct? Yes, the crime followed the lyrics of the song. The death of the keyring, the burning guitar, and the bullet. This is why it could not have been me. I, that is he, could not have done it. By could not have done it, you mean? It is very simple. Maki could not have done all the things that happened that day. But all those things that followed the song lyrics closely. He says that because of lyrics in English, he does not understand them. You see, I bet you that's it. I bet you anything, he understands English. He understands everything we're saying. Wouldn't it be difficult for him to perform without knowing the meaning of the lyrics? He did not know what the song was about. It's mood, shall we say. This was enough to play by. I told him it was a song about the guitar in love. It's not actually the guitar that's in love, strictly speaking. Oh, perhaps I misunderstood. Ah, no, not really. Yours is also a valid interpretation. Um, okay? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's my fault. I am too used to singing in Bogdanian. It is much easier than trying to understand these English lyrics. I can tell you that much, yeah. English is a really complicated language. Just go and look up uh, Geoffrey Chaucer's Canterbury Tales, uh, Shakespeare. Uh, look at the difference between those two things, and then look at modern English today, and already you can see how crazy our lang uh, my language is, at least. Yay, I knew it was innocent. I believe it is too, Trissy. I do. What's wrong, Apollo? You got a tummy ache or something? Something's hidden in that testimony. If it's the truth, I'll find it. And this is something I've been talking about for a while. I I've been talking about uh, the, the movie the, um, the Prestige, where someone goes through life faking a, um, a health thing. Only to make it so that no one suspects them of doing a magic trick. And I think that's what Maki is doing. Maki is faking uh, that he knows English. And I think this is the one I need to perceive on. I mean, if I'm right about this. I can see his eyes through that. Can't really see much else. Ooh, ooh, ooh right there. See that? You see the eye movements? I, I need to go back and see that, but I could have swore his eyes moved. Yeah, right there, he looks at her. Okay, I, I just want to double check. Just want to double check. See, he never looks at her otherwise. Yep, I, yep, yep, I think we got it. I think we got it. He understands everything we're saying. Exactly. Maki. You can't fool my eyes. You glanced toward her the very moment Lamora said the word English. Why? And don't bother interpreting that. He understands me. Huh? Maki, tell the truth. You can understand English, can't you? What are you saying? Of course he can't. Must he continue this charade? Mr. Justice, Maki says this. 
I know the word English. Huh? Before coming to this country, you heard me speak in English. You learned the name for this language, if that is all. What? Oh, come on, give me a break. Is that such an easy word to understand? No, I'm with Justice here. I, I love when the protagonists are on the same page, and I'm definitely on his page. There is no way you can tell me Maki doesn't understand every single thing we're saying. Do you not know Espanol, for instance? Yes, I know Spanish. That's not the point. Well, yeah, but... I am sorry, but he truly doesn't understand your language. Well, then explain this. How does he know the crime? Follow the lyrics. Have you always been such a suspicious-minded lad? Yeah, that's right. You you did you didn't go into details about that uh, about this thing. If he didn't go into details about it, how would he know about it? That's that seems so obvious to me now. Why why did I just realize that before? It is simple, so simple it hardly requires an explanation. He read about it in the newspaper. The newspaper? The Virginia Daily Bugle. You can buy it in these countries these days, you know. They have already begun to report about this case in our homeland. I mean... It, maybe it says it somewhere in this, but... It, it, uh. I was right. What is wrong, Mr. Justice? Your eyes, they're quite fierce all of a sudden. Maki is lying. Maybe it's time to show them proof that he's lying. Okay, well... What the heck? I, I don't know what else to do. I have here a Virginia newspaper. The Virginia Daily Musical, as, as a matter of fact. Indeed, there is a feature article about the case. Could you read this for me, Maki? That's right. It doesn't mention the lyrics. How would I know that? Oh, it tells me right there. Oh, I... <laughs> The only reason I knew to put this as evidence is because the only thing, I mean, they mentioned the newspaper and I have a newspaper on me. So I was thinking that we'd give it to Lemore and she would translate it and we find out that there's no lyrics. I didn't realize it just literally tells me that. What? What is this all about? I'm sorry, Maki. You couldn't have read about the lyrics in a Virginia newspaper. Gotcha. And it's weird because I honestly don't think Lamora knows. I, I really don't think she knows about this. Uh, what does this mean? Does that mean Maki was a plant to go into Virginia and to steal the cocoon? Has this been a ruse, a long con for years? Well, but I don't see how it's possible. Ah, uh, I know. You must heard the lyrics when the police were doing the questioning, yes. No, no. Not possible. The subject of the lyrics was not brought up in police questioning. I read the full report myself. So, the lyrics weren't in the newspaper and the police didn't mention them. The only place you could have heard them was in this courtroom. In English, no less. Uh, the witness will explain herself, or himself, whatever. Maki says, he says... Yes? It is true, I read the newspaper. But this is not where I learned the lyrics. I was mistaken. Now, I remember. You remember? He says he heard the lyrics from me. What? Is this true, Lemur? Yes, I'm afraid I've forgotten it myself. Then it looks like hair for heads been jumping to conclusions again. Well, it seems so, yes. Oh, come on, you're not gonna believe her, are you? 
No, 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 no. I was onto something. I know it. I can't let this chance slip away. Time is an issue today, Mr. Justice. Are you finished with the cross-examination? What are you going to do, Apollo? If I'm going to keep on cross-examining, I better find an angle of attack. Or else. Hmm? My bracelet's still reacting. Your Honor, please allow me to continue. Oh, you must, you must, very well, witness. I understand. It was I who explained that the crime followed the song. Exactly how much did you explain to Maki? Oh, this is a question for me, yes? This interpretation thing is getting old fast. <laughs> I told him that Mr. Latus had been killed and why he was a suspect. And I told him the crimes so of the day followed my song. Did you mention any particular words of the song relating to the case, such as heart? Yes, of course I explained this. He was quite surprised. Yay, I knew it was innocent. I believe he is too, Trucy. I do. Let me, uh, yeah, that, that all seemed the same. So let's go to this one. And we're sure to perceive something new here, right? Why did that not skip? He says that because the lyrics are in English, he does not fully understand them. I don't know why this did skip. But anyway, I'm pretty sure this is new. Alright, let's check the eyes. The eyes are dead set. Is there something else though? What if it's what if it's not him I'm supposed to examine? What if it's Lamor? Yeah, let me um let me readjust. Right there. See that? Her throat's doing that thing again. Yeah, her throat's doing that thing. That's definitely it. I was right. We have to look at her for this one. Right there. Gotcha. Interesting how they did that. That's pretty cool. You know, they, they make you think, oh, you gotta look at Maki, and then, no, it's actually her. Lemur. I'm currently cross-examining Maki. Why should you be uncertain? Me? Uncertain? Yes, you swallowed the very moment you told the court. It was I who explained. I see, there's little point to trying to hide anything from you. Lemur, are you indeed protecting someone? That is not a question with a simple answer. To tell the truth, I do not believe it myself. Then allow me to answer for you. Lemur, you're protecting... Maki? Lemur, you're protecting Maki. It's, it's kind of the only one that makes sense, right? I mean, the only other person that she has would be, uh, Latouse, but he's dead. That's why you lied and told us that you had explained how the crime followed the song. Huh? I don't fault you for trying to help, but this is not the way. Maki, I believe you didn't do it. Really, I trust you. But you've lied to us twice. And now you have Lemur lying on your behalf. If this is going to work, you have to trust me too. Your two lies cover a simple truth. You understand English. You have to. Uh, uh. Gotcha. Witness, is this true? You understand English? You understand the words coming out of my mouth? <laughs> that would be great if you said it. Uh, yes, a little. Only. 
What? First he could see and now he can talk. Is Jesus around somewhere? And you, did you not know about the Zlamavor? I know, I did not. It's quite a surprise. How many secrets is witness hiding? Last. This is last. Marky, could you tell us what really happened? No shooting. I did no shooting. So, you weren't in the dress room when I heard those two gunshots, correct? Uh. Uh, partly, the answer to the question isn't simple either. I was in dressing room behind desk. Manager, he on floor. Which would be after the shooting, right? Then, there is voice. Voice or voices? Was it you and Ima, Apollo? So when Maki went into the dressing room, Mr. Latus had already been shot. And then we came to the door. Panel. Hi up. I take off. Run away. Run away. So it was you who escaped through the air vent. <laughs> As the prosecution has upheld a long no less. The defendant has admitted to being at the scene. Might they take this as a confession? Objection! No! He's clearly denied that he did it. I no shooting. Major on floor. Already on floor. Objection! The victim had already been shot, you say. I find that hard to believe. The defendant understood the song lyrics. He was at the scene of the crime. This can only mean one thing. He is the shooter! Does the defendant have anything to see about this? He's climbed up, Paul. Well then let's say it's Mr. Justice. Will you require any further testimony from the witness? Is that it? Is there nothing else I can get him to testify about? Wait. No, of course there is. What is this cocoon, anyway? Yes, yes, it's a potent cure for, uh, for, um, curitis. And we asked him if he's a smuggler. And, uh, then, uh, the, the other guy came in. Oh, well, first thing tells. That cocoon has to have something to do with this. Maki, please tell us the truth for your own sake. No. No more speak. Not to any of you. So much for your precious trust, hair for head. Hey, you were the one who did believe him. Regardless, this brings us to an impasse. An impasse? Impasse? Uh, it's supposed to be impasse. You know what? When you do accents, you know, you can make words sound like they don't sound. Yeah, impasse. Sure, why not? Well, it does seem the defense and defendant are at odds. I doubt we are likely to learn anything more of value should this continue. See no other course but to clear a five minute recess. The defense will work things out with defendants so that we might proceed. July 10th, 1123 AM. District Court, defendant lobby number two. Only been about 15 minutes. Apollo. Justice. That's justice. Better learn how to say it if you ever want to get some. <laughs> Believe. I. No shooting. Marky claims Mr. Latus was already down on the ground when he entered the room. Maybe it was a trap and he walked right into it. Suddenly, I hear revolver. Close. Very close. Then, I hear voice. You heard gunshots? Yes, it's true. I hear revolver, but only sound. Wait, you're saying you went into the dressing room and found Ms. Latus already dead, and then you heard shots? Well, that's true. Hey, maybe I was onto something earlier when I said maybe the, the time of the murder is wrong. So, you were at the scene of the crime when you heard those shots? And you escaped through the air vent? I know. Huh? What do you know? I know if opening vent... I can leave stage and back backstage. 
So the vents went to both the stage and the backstage area. Is that what he means? Hey, he's right. Oh, hey, he's right. Look, Apollo. Huh? Yeah. But how did you know it was connected like that? Wait, I bet his father was the architect that designed the hall or something. Oh, come on, Tusi. I hear this from Magician. Magician? D don't look at me. A magician, huh? We're talking about the uh, uncle guy. Well, at least we're clear on one thing. Magic didn't sh- Ma <laughs> Magic didn't shoot Miss of the Tooth. That's right, we did not cast a magical spell that made a revolver fire. <laughs> Maki didn't shoot Mr. Latus? Yeah, but what does that leave us with? We're supposed to say he went into the room to find the body and then he heard the shots? That one's going to go over well in court. Not. Paulo, you're his defense. You're supposed to believe whatever he says, even lies. That's what daddy always told me. Um, I'll just pretend you misheard him. Like, every time. <laughs> so, what do we do? You're sure you won't testify, Maki? I, no talking, no. Hmm, well it was worth a shot. That cocoon. I can't go home. Yes, we can't go home because he's smuggled the cocoon. He's going to die. Penalty is death. Yes, we got this, we got this, we got this. Of course, he's scared. Oh well, I guess we'll just have to try a different approach. That's the spirit of Apollo. So what's your plan? If Maki would testify about it, we'll have to get someone else to testify. Someone else? I think we're out of time. Let's get back in there. Right. I think the only thing we can do is get the, um... The magician, right? July 10th, 11.28 a.m. Wow, that really was a five minute recess. Who is now back in session? I think it's a great time to take a break, even though there was no save menu that popped up. We are in a transition here, so yeah, that, that seems like good to me. I love you all so very much. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day today. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.